All right, I tossed the roofing product, flashing cement. I went online and looked on how to do a rubber roof repair and I fell asleep. Oh, I'm getting worn out, getting too old for this. Oh yeah. And then I parked the Suburban, but you can't see it because there's a tree in the way. Well, you can see it a little bit. Suburban with racing stripes. A whole bunch of people have asked me, what'd you do to the truck? I said, spent tons of money at the right place. There's a right place for everything. And Pisser's is the right place for me. Thank goodness for Pisser. All right. I did a roof patch here. This is a low spot in the roof on this flat as a pancake roof. Look at this. Flat as a pancake. Totally ridiculous. I'll put some pitch in it, tell you about it later. Sun's going down, it's getting chilly. Clear day, not a cloud in the sky. Well, I got a couple of wifty sifty ones over there. So this is a low spot. So what happened was my roofing paper is paper based not fiberglass and it dissolved and it was leaking worse than ever because I cut open a little crack and I made it huge and I put a bunch of nails to hold the roofing paper down and it was friggin leaking worse and I got a tenant in another apartment and his faucet was dripping a little little bit so I put new cartridges in and they are defective yep made in Taiwan two dollars each and they were defective so they were leaking like crazy underneath the sink so I fixed it wasn't leaking a drop, and he calls me up three days later. It's leaking worse than ever. Oh, God. Some days you just can't do anything right, just the way it goes. So I got this all dried out. I put some spacers in. See, this has got tar embedded in paper. And... That's a real piece of rubber. So I went online, I looked it up, and that's a shim. Yeah, there's a million different ways to repair rubber roofing, but uh, today I just want to stop it from leaking and I want to put some pitch on this roof. It's got to get pitched. So until I do that, I went to Lowe's and I bought some Flash It Right self-adhered flashing. And it's actually rubberized. It's rubber, easy to install with ripcord split release paper. And I went through all their products on the shelf. This was the only one that was rubber based and not paper impregnated. So, I guess I'll. Oh, stuck to me. I guess I'll take my knife out and get my tripod out of my pocket in here somewhere. Oh yeah, so somebody watched one of my videos and he says, you're just making boring long videos to rake in the dough. You're monetized and all you care about is the money. Well, listen, it's nice to get the money from YouTube, which is not very much. But I certainly don't do this for the money, believe me. The time it takes. And do it for the love of it. And the money's nice. It's like going to work. You do it for the money, but you also got to like what you do, otherwise you quit your job. Turn in your resignation, like a friend of mine just did. He had a huge drive to work every single day, and he said, that's it, I'm turning in my resignation, and he did. So I said, what are you going to do, sell pencils? It's not a joke. Grace, rubberized roofing. That's all they had, and it was a 9-inch width. So, I'm going to... Put some goopy Karnak down here. Sun's going down. I'm gonna put some Karnak flashing cement down and put some of this goopy down. It's real thin, made for flashing windows, but it's the only rubberized product they had in the store. So, on a Saturday afternoon, there's not much you could do. I'm not having a roofer come in and charge me a thousand bucks. Too cheap for that. It's to be easy to peel off. Yeah, right.
Hmm. Luckily I have my trusty knife that I dropped into the recycling bin last week. It took me 10 minutes to find it. Oh yeah. It oozy goozied into the paper. There we go. I guess this is Grace Ice and Water Shield, the thin version. But the problem is this area of the roof gets submerged. Stays underwater. So I'll put this aside. I'll get up my knife. Not the razor blade, just the knife blade. Pop this bucket open. Karnak roofing, and I know there's a better way to do this. I should be torching it down or something, but I don't have a torch. Oh. There you can watch the sunset. What are you seeing anyways? Seeing me? Oh, yeah. Heavier blade. I got a heavier five and one tool. Now I got all the nail holes to block up around the circumference. Alright, this is boring. I'm not gonna wake you waste your time watching me watch the sunset. I'll turn this back on in a minute. And someone's gonna criticize my roof repair. I'm not happy about it either. Believe me, I wish this roof had some pitch to the vents. There's one right there. One right there. All figured out. I'm not going to be repairing this thing every freaking six months. Alright, I got my... Don't you hate that when things just stick to you? I got my goopy on the main hole, and look at these in this rubber eyes flashing, or rubber flashing, whatever it is. Take my trusty knife and cut a length of it. Definitely wish I had a professional roofer. That can help me do this. I don't know. Oh, there's the ripcord. Huh. Definitely don't know what I'm doing. Just trying to do whatever I can do to stop the water from coming into the building into my nice tenant's apartment. One piece. One ringy dingy. Yeah, maybe your beekeeper will take a little buzz over here. He's not far away, really. Overlap it, what? Two inches? I guess I got 33 feet of it. I'm only going to use three feet of it, so I'll overlap it by, how about four inches of the nine. Squeeze the air out, I suppose that wouldn't hit. Yet, of all the things I've learned how to do on apartment buildings in all the years, I've never had any training in roofing. I've never had any training in anything, to be honest. I just watched the guys do it, figured it out, never went to school for any of this. Nothing. No mechanic school, no designing schools, no business management, no business administration, nothing. Just fly by the seat of my pants, school. How's that sunset doing? Let's get that horizontal, horizon horizontal, there we go. Yep, I'm listening to Garrison Keeler on my headset radio.
here Ford is going to be putting $1.2 billion into a vehicle manufacturing assembly plant in Mexico. Uh, excuse me, those maculaderos is the worst friggin' thing that ever happened to Mexico. For all, of, all the men up from the farms, hundreds, thousands of miles away, Mexico is a big state. I think Mexico City is 600 miles away from the border of California, Arizona, Texas. Hundreds and hundreds of miles away. Brings all these men up, leaves the towns full of only women, which means there's no one there to give the kids a proper upbringing. Husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, and the kids are running wild, and the drug dealers are marketing their products to Americans who love to get high. And I heard somebody on the radio saying, I don't want Obamacare because all the drug dealers are going to get free health care. So the person interviewing them said, uh, hello, all they do is go to the emergency ward. One way or the other, you're going to get emergency health care. Might as well get it in an organized fashion. And how many drug dealers are getting health care? Not that many. Anyhow, everybody's ranting and raving about Obamacare. Obama cares. <laughs> Maybe I should have used the thinner tar stuff. This has got fibers in it. It's extra thick and rich. It's not meant for submersed applications. I need a pool liner for this, which is what I did see. EPDM pool liner repair kits, but Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. I finally got around to fixing this roof. Couldn't believe it when I came up here and saw that all my card paper had just dissolved. Yep, just dissolved. Being underwater. Underwater. I'll go watch a YouTube video. How to fix your roof. Thanks to YouTube. You just make videos to cash in. Alright. I don't think so. I do this for the love of it. I stop people in parking lots on the turnpike to show them how to fix their doors because I want to make money. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess some people think there's a motive for everything. My motive is just to socialize. Humans are social creatures and I like to socialize. Some guys, one of the guys, a Corvair guys, invited me to a cabana suk sugar shack. So told him, man, I don't eat meat. I don't want no fevel lard. <laughs> Beans baked in maple syrup. So, I'm have to make a special batch for me. I just don't care to eat meat. I had my share of it when I was a kid. No, thank you. I've had enough. I'm good. That's it, 33 feet, and I'm using 9 feet. How's that sun doing? There. there. Can you watch me and the sunset? I'll move it back a little bit, I bet you can. Aren't I nice? Who else would think of doing that? Uh oh, I have to fart. Now what do I do? Turn off the camera? And I got my headset radio on. These goofy things. But I enjoy listening to Garrison Keeler. Can't get to see him. I'll go meet up with a big prowler, but can't do it.
work to do. Leaky roofs, leaky faucets. Tenants changing their locks and not giving us the key. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Watching that sun go down. It goes down the hatch. Maybe I'll be up here in a week peeling it off looking for the other patch. I appreciate the people that watch my videos around the world. Gas sub wild 8101 Japan and Tacoma 5 in Sweden and people in Western Canada, Cholent, the gravel trucker. You're just jealous because I'm so good looking gravel trucker. <laughs> he watches all my videos. I can't be doing in that can't be doing stuff that bad if he watches them all. Who else is there? GPL 87, Blazer Lover 25, Caraba Sabini, K. Rob Sabini, Fine Fin Painter, Fine Painter. I just noticed him watching my video. Kritz, my buddy Kritz, in Moscow. Who else is there? Dutch Urban Miner, The Diesel Stop, your beekeeper. Lots of good people. I'll keep making the videos. 5,012, 5,047. Just keep it up. And I apologize for the repeats. I lose track. I shouldn't make notes. Sometimes I do, and then I can't read my notes. Sometimes I make a video and I'll put um, one that I meant to be separate into the big video. And I just take that video and I make it separate. I don't have time to watch them. I do these sometimes. If I can't sleep, I'll get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I'll do a couple videos, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So I just drag and drop. And I know once in a while I repeat a video. I know. I know. If YouTube had a better system or movie maker, it would say, you already uploaded that video. But it doesn't keep track of it. I gotta make little notes. A scrap piece of paper. I don't want to turn any lights on because Mrs. CW gets mad. She's been playing on the computer at 2 in the morning. So I apologize for making you watch my videos twice. You see what I'm doing down here? I'm terrible. Yeah. There we go. Sun's down. Yeah, cool nights in Florida. It's 80 degrees during the day, but it doesn't get that cool at night. It stays warm. Tropical air. Here it gets freaking cold. It gets freaking cold at night. Clear nights, cold nights. It's Craig75 watches my videos. Lots of good people. YouTube has introduced me to a wonderful group of people. I'm real happy to get the occasional jerkhead that makes his nasty comments. Sometimes they're malicious. Sometimes they're just asinine. I delete them. It's not nice to see them. There's plenty of places to swear and get arrogant. We'll do it somewhere else. 
I don't need it on my channel. Too much good stuff going on. The cereal marshmallows out west of California. All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. 13 minute video, jeez and crow. Doesn't say what it is. Just a roll of whatever. I better keep the label. That's it. Another beautiful day in the Adirondacks. Grace Plus. Yep, I gotta repitch this roof. I'll show you. I'm gonna come up here with Fruit Loops. We're gonna build a structure. And we are going to drain. Boy, there's nowhere near here to drain. The closest vent is here. This is a vent for the toilet. This is also a drain below the toilet. Above it, it's a vent. Below it, it's a drain. So here, this one's a bit better. This is zero. I'm going to cut that down flush with the roof. Oh, yeah, that looks real good there. I'm going to cut that flush with the roof. And my 2x4 is going to start here at the thinnest, zero. And I'm going to build up to... A midpoint, which is probably 15 feet, 5 meters away, right there. And here I'm going to be foot high. And it's going to pitch gently, not a lot, because I don't want to have the roof too high. It's going to pitch to that drain. So it's going to start from zero, rise, and then when it hits the midpoint, start descending. And it's going to drain to this drain, which is conveniently right next to my ventilation system. There's another one right there. Toilets. So, zero to one foot and the same thing this way. It's going to drain to that side on this side because this area here gets all wet and it's just terrible. And the drains aren't evenly spaced. The vents rather, but I'm going to make them into drains because the drains now are at that far corner. The other one's at that far corner. And that's freaking ridiculous. And if there was pitch to the roof, but there's just no pitch, it's flat, flat, flat. Generally, a pitched, a flat roof has a little bit of pitch, just, just a little, little, little bit, but there's nothing here. It just sits here. You get a puddle that goes all the way from there, all the way here. You get ponding. Look at this. It's just sitting there, looking for a crack in the rubber. So when I put a little bit of pitch in here, just a little bit, not a lot, the water will gently run to that drain right there, or that one right there. I'm not going to pitch it off the building because then you have a problem with ice dams and water runs down and affects the porches and there's all kinds of stuff there, windows that don't seal very well, so I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to pitch it in the middle and there's air leakage through this roof. It's not a very tight building. It's tight enough that the electric bills for the heating aren't too bad. And I'll do the same thing over there and blah, 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 blah. That's my uh, construction project. I'll get it done. Well, I hope I accomplished something today with this, on this 16-minute video, plus whatever else I had previously that I'll jumble together with Windows Movie Maker. Oops. Parts are flying. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Happy sundown. Tomorrow's Sunday. I just thought I'd show you me picking up the goopy. Yeah. GPL. 97. GPL V6. GPL LE. I get the names mixed up. You gotta think of a name that's easy to remember. Every time I type in your BP, your beekeeper, they say, you mean your beekeeper. And I say, no, your beekeeper. All one word. YouTube tries to autocorrect. Dum diddy dum dum. No, nope, got it all. Alrighty. Now I gotta clean off this with one of the tools over here. And Grace Construction Products, Cambridge, Massachusetts.
DOT non hazardous featuring a ripcord. Alrighty. Cool how it does that. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Woo!